Thank you, Presiding Officer. One year since the passing of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, it does present a moment for reflection on a long and dedicated life of public service. I am sure that colleagues will remember with great pride the beauty of Scotland's landscapes, but perhaps more importantly, the warmth of Scotland's people on Her Majesty's final journey. Her Majesty's deep fondness for Scotland was well known. It is here that Queen Elizabeth chose to spend her most private family moments each summer. And it is within the halls and gardens of the Palace of Holyrood House that Her Majesty welcomed thousands of community leaders, volunteers, artists, activists, faith leaders, and essential and key workers in recognition of their service to Scotland. Presiding officer, on behalf of the people of Scotland, I send my thoughts to King Charles and the royal family in their private remembrance tomorrow. Thank you, presiding officer. Tomorrow our thoughts will be with the king and the royal family on the first anniversary of the passing of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Twelve months ago, thousands of Scots gathered as her cortege made the final poignant six-hour journey from Balmoral to Holyrood Palace as she had wished. Flowers marked the route in Ballater, bagpipes played in a boyne, farmers lined their tractors on the roadside, and thousands stood on the Royal Mile to pay their last respects. Our late Queen brought the country together in her life and in her death. The late Queen cherished Scotland and in her passing, the country showed how much it cherished her. Tomorrow marks one year since we lost our late Queen, but every day since then we have remembered her warmth, her leadership and her unstinting and dedicated service to this country for 70 years. Thank you. Reading officer, our longest serving monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, was a dedicated public servant, demonstrating strength, leadership and empathy when her country needed it the most. She brought our nation together at times of crisis and left a legacy of compassion in the various causes she championed. She reminded us that despite our political disagreements and arguments, everyone here in Holyrood is here because in the service of the Scottish people. Her kindness, wisdom and integrity are timeless values that we pass down through the generations. Scotland will remember her fondly. Thank you. And I call Alex Cole Hamilton. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Presiding Officer, the passing of Her Majesty ended a constancy in the lives of everyone in this chamber. It was a moment in time that will come to define the early years of this century. And across these islands, the Commonwealth and indeed the whole world, there was a collective sigh of sadness and thanksgiving for her life of service. And then, in the minutes and hours and days that followed the announcement from the palace, Operation Unicorn unfolded with quiet precision. And I pay particular tribute to the staff of this parliament and public service workers across Scotland for the many hours and days they dedicated to that task. From the roadsides of Aberdeenshire to the catafalque at Westminster Hall, those days showed Scotland and the United Kingdom at its very best. I think Her Majesty would have been pleased that so many marked her passing by engaging in the great British pastime of standing in line. So on this anniversary and all those to come, we hold the royal family in our thoughts and remember the extraordinary life and service of Queen Elizabeth II.